They wanted to ensure a positive memory prior to his heart surgery. So Morgan and his partner Stacy got married at the Peter Monk Cardiac Center with medical staff and their toddler son in attendance. Days later, on April 5, 2016, the young father with a rare heart defect underwent a lengthy, complex and high-risk operation, a surgery which up to 30% of patients do not survive. Morgan was born with congenitally corrected transposition of the great arteries, a condition where the lower half of the heart is reversed. A multidisciplinary medical team led by cardiac surgeons Dr. Edward Hickey from SickKids and Dr. Terry Yao from the Peter Monk Cardiac Center comprised a team of about a dozen working to implant a ventricular assist device, or VAD, into Morgan's chest. The goal was to have the VAD, or mechanical heart, serve as an interim measure until doctors can determine if Morgan could become eligible for a heart transplant. His diagnosis of congestive heart failure leaves no other options. During the more than 12-hour operation, surgeons encountered several challenges, including where to place the mechanical heart device, given Morgan's anatomy, and a higher-than-normal loss of blood during the procedure. The device is designed to draw oxygen-rich blood through the pump mechanism. It then pushes the blood to the aorta. From there, blood can flow through the rest of the body. The pump is programmed to deliver the correct amount of blood flow for an individual's body's needs. A driveline connected to the VAD exits the body through an incision and connects to a battery-operated controller worn by the patient outside the body. The implant of a mechanical heart is accompanied by regular checkups for patients and daily medications. His medical team will continue to closely monitor Morgan's mechanical heart as well as his own heart to determine what, if any, options he may have in the future.